They know what they're going to get from Tim Duncan every night, but they said when Robinson gets off to a great start, it's really basketball of the season right now. What a third by food poisoning, a stomach flu. Wednesday night, a question mark to play. Did struggle through 28 minutes, was not himself. Robert talking earlier as we watched Juwan Howard warm up, and you mentioned it last week, uh, a bit of a hitch in that shot by Juwan. As Danny Ferry taking over in the starting lineup. What with the injuries? Elliott, with Derek Anderson being out, he gives them some athleticism and size on that perimeter. They're going to need him to continue to play well. Shoulder. David Robinson out of the game. He has the size advantage over Malik Rose. They'll go back to that. It's just so amazing when Steve Nash is on his game and playing well, what he does for his teammates. That's what a great point guard will do. And he comes up with one of the most improved teams in the NBA. Michael Finley ending the drought. He has seven points. This crowd was fired up right at the start. And Dallas with the tone as Calvin Booth again. The tone was set by Scheisman serving up a basil yeah. to Doug Collins. I got a lot of those. I, ne I never said that. <laughs> Arena. There will be a new American Airlines. Good. You're talking about uh, Rolando Blackman and Derek Harper and Mark McGuire. 17 point lead now down to 10. David Robinson going to the line. So it's a very. It's an action packed. Triple header first up, Jamal Mashburn uh, coming off eight. Antonio Daniels from downtown, and it's a 12-2 run by the Spurs. They were down by as many as 17. It's now a five-point game. Here's Snowbitsky. Put eight, 235 pounds. Originally a second round. Brings a lot of energy, but you know what? In front of the referees, Marv, you're not going to be able to arm wrestle against one of the best players in the right way. You don't want to put Duncan on that line this early in the game. He might find a rhythm. You want him to do it late. 59, 55, Mavericks. Nine and a half minutes to erase 15 of that 17-point uh, deficit. Sean Bradley has eight points, and the Mavericks now lead 61 50. Duncan stopped. Robinson on the recovery. It counts in the foul. Now David Robinson has really energized his team here after getting off to a slow start. 16 big one point game. Nowitzki. A very strong. I'm sure that the Mavericks fans are saying, hey, let's into a little contact. There was no possession gained or lost with that play. More importantly, from about 16, 17 feet, all created by Nash, getting in that lane. Bradley has 10 points. Dallas 68, San Antonio 65. For a man this big and this talented to be able to step out on the floor, shot Bradley gave great defense. The hand in the face, off the glass. And Bradley says, you know what? Tim Duncan with a, a second effort. He now has 15 points. Mavericks lead. If you're going to switch that play and get Michael Finley on Duncan for Steve Nash, Dallas with a two point lead. Finley on a 6 0 spur. Here's Porter. Oh, what a follow by Robinson. The quickness of David Robinson bringing the Spurs within two. Howard and a reach in foul on Howard Eisley. That's why sometimes you have close. We're going to go to the wire. You have to really dig deep and set. How badly do I want to go back to San Antonio? Even down, it would be 3-1. How badly do we want to win this game? It might come down to that. That could be their best low post player. And he has struggled in this series against the Twin Towers to Washington. They lose both Courtney Alexander and Hubert Davis. So they are thin back there. Buckner gets hurt. That really has hurt their team. Paul Braun of the old <laughs> New York Knicks of the 50s. I watched a lot of film. Okay. I believe it counts and the foul. And I mean that with proper effect for his arm. Twenty-eight points, eight rebounds. Michael Finley has come on in this fourth quarter. Up number five, the Mavericks.
with a 105-99 lead, and Duncan back to San Antonio on Monday. You know the Spurs would, would love to wrap it. They'd have lots of time between the leaders. Well, be aware of him stepping in bounds. Buckner has his back turned to him. So be aware of Ferry stepping great hands to knock that ball loose, or the Spurs could have had a chance to shoot a three and win it, or, or a two would have tied it.